Hey, how's everyone doing? Welcome to another show. And on tonight's show, I'm going to talk about Fargo on Blu-ray 4K from Shell Factory, Screen Factory. And this is an awesome transfer. They got this perfect. The artwork on here is spectacular. I think this is an awesome cover. I love what they've done with the slip cover and that. I just got this yesterday, just got finished watching it, and I'm thinking, my God, the the 4K is is out of this world. It is perfect. It's like the colours, the snow scenes, um, the scenes in the dark, the colours, the blacks were perfect. What they did with this is another amazing job they've done. They have such a good reputation, Screen Factory. They keep delivering great movie after great movie after great movie. And I love what I love what they how they cleaned up the negative. It just looks really, really cool. This movie, I watched it on I watched the 4K, and it's like watching a new transfer of it, especially for the 4K. Tons and tons of special features here. I'll just get closer here. Got audio commentary, several documentaries. I don't think there's anything new there from any other transfer. Um, the Blu-ray is re Region A. And that. Yeah. Alright, let's take a look at the um, sides. Really cool artwork here. I love the greys here. Really, really nice. Alright, let's get into this. There we are. Nice. Very nice. Really love this movie. This is on my top 10 favourite ones. Good cast. Steve Buscemi. William A. Macy. Is brilliant in this. So is Steve Buscemi. I love the artwork on the discs here. Really nice. Really, really cool. Done a bloody good job. In that. Really nice. I love William A. Macy in this and in that. I love him in Shameless. it off like this snow reverse oh no it's no reversible artwork in this and that but the documentaries the documentaries are very interesting on here one of them they talk about the town they the towns they went to and everything and that that's on the DVD and Blu-ray and everything but yeah it's one of those movies People won't, will probably never forget because they've done the TV series and they've done they've done multiple TV series of Fargo and all that. This, um, yeah, I don't get sick of this movie. I think it's got a lot of sense of humour and everything in it. I'd like to point out this one does have two um, DTS tracks. The one I watched it in is the um, the. Uh, the HD DVD 5.1, not bad, quite good. So you hear um, the shooting, you hear all the backgrounds and everything and that. I didn't watch the other um, HD, but um, I will next time and that. But yeah, bloody good movie. And all the snow scenes and that, like in the daytime and and everything look really really cool with that um, beautiful 4k transfer folks it's like I first saw this many many years ago on on TV and the 
first time I saw this, I didn't like it. I couldn't understand the storyline and everything. But then I watched it, um, sorry, I watched it again, and I thought, oh my god, this is brilliant. This movie, this movie, this movie is one of a kind. It's got good writing in it, the, the scenes, the scenes are really set well. Then, all of a sudden, it gets given a 4K, a new transfer. And it's like all those really nice scenes in the movie, you're, you're able to experience it in, um, in with the 4K transfer and new, two new DTS um, tracks and that, I think were just absolutely awesome because one thing I find with Shell Factory, Screen Factory, when they release something, they seem to know how to go all out and actually a lot of the time they remix it, they do a 7.1 or 5.1 um, DTS track, but a lot of the time they're doing it for the first time and it's really, really cool. A movie like Fargo really needs it and it's like the the fast moving pace in the, in the story and everything is no, no exception, I reckon. It's like really interesting story and how it says at the beginning it's a true story and everything. That, it's not a true story. I, I, I researched it and it's not. They put it there just to act uh, part of the storyline and all that. But it's really interesting how in the movie, then the TV series, it says based on actual events when it's not really. But it's like, I never would have known many, many years ago. I never looked it up on that. But um, yeah, Shell Factory, Screen Factory did a bloody good transfer for this movie. And um, I've heard a lot of people talk about it. Once again, um, I've only heard good things about it. It's like no one's said, oh, they're not happy with the transfer and the special features are great. You've got the audio commentary on here. You've got some documentaries and everything and that are just brilliant. It's like bloody good movie. I think people will enjoy the Blu-ray 4K for years to come because it's like I know I did. It's like um, I wanted this before Christmas, but because it had to come from overseas and everything. I didn't get it. I only got it yesterday and that. It's like, um, yeah. But I'm very happy with this. I have to have a look at the special features on there and that, but it's like I thought I, I wanted to watch it and I wanted to review this before the end of the week because we only got, uh, we got, we got about three days left of 2023, folks. And that, and, um, yeah. All right, I thought I'd talk about another movie I also got in the mail. I got another copy of Child's Play 2 on Blu-ray 4K from, from Screen Factory, folks. Really nice edition. I found this very, very cheap. This was 25 bucks on the eBay Australian website. And that, it was brand new. And that, it's got great special features on here. Audio commentary, deleted scenes, and that. Great special features, really, really cool. There we are. Really, really nice edition. I already got this up there, you probably see, but at that price, I thought, what the hell? Let's take a look at uh, work cover. Yeah. And then me, uh, if I see a bargain, I'll grab it. Awesome disc. Really nice artwork on here, folks. I love the picture of Chucky in there and that. He's so scary. 
than that. Really cool. Really nice. And there's no reversible light on this one, folks. It said it was brand new, but it didn't have the plastic on it and that. But it's like, it wasn't scratched or anything. And I was very, very impressed with it. I got this uh, yesterday too. And that. Love two and three. One's great. The rest of them are cool, but the first three are my favourite. Really nice. I like the artwork on the side of the cover here and that. Really cool. Really nice. And on here too. Same bit. Yeah, very nice. Alright.